In this video, we'll learn about compositing AOVs in Fusion. Hey folks, welcome to Mogra Floss. This video is a free sample from our course, The Ultimate Introduction to Arnold 6 for Cinema 4D. It's a massive 12 hours course in which we explore all the aspects of Arnold for Cinema 4D thoroughly. Make sure to check it out. The link is in the description. Also, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. We will be using this scene. If I go to the render settings and the AOVs tab, I have this Arnold EXR driver as my main driver. Uh, we're going for a basic back to beauty composite. That's why I have the diffuse specular SSS transmission and sheen. For this particular scene, this basic five AOVs will give us our beauty pass back. Instead of the diffuse AOV, we can bring in diffuse direct and diffuse indirect add them together in post and that will become our diffuse pass. That would give us more control in post, but let's stick to the basics for now. I have my crypto mat set up as well. If I open up the crypto mat shader and go to the advanced section, I have these preview channels in EXR files enabled, which is turned off by default, uh, which basically allows you to see the crypto mat passes in the saved out EXR file. If I open up the light manager, I have created five light groups, one group per light. I will show you how to relight your scene in post using these AOV light groups as well. Now let's select the beauty pass AOV and you can see we have these five light groups enabled for the beauty pass. Now the safest way to render out in Arnold is to use an EXR driver. That is what we are having here. I have this merge AOVs enabled in the driver and that will give us one EXR file containing all the AOVs. And that is the only thing I have changed in that driver. We are using ACES in this scene. I have already rendered this scene out. Let's go to Fusion and do some basic compositing. Here we are in Fusion. Now, if you are not familiar with Fusion at all, uh, you are in luck because I do have a great beginner's guide to Fusion for compositing on MoGraph Plus's YouTube channel. Uh, the video is called Compositing V-Ray Renders Using Fusion, a beginner's guide. Make sure to check that tutorial out before watching this video. I explain Fusion's UI, how to navigate, how to import and work on your footage. Uh, I talk about masks, color correction, linear and sRGB color spaces, how to export and so on so go watch that tutorial and come back to this video after that if you go to the 06 rendering folder in the renders folder in your project files you should find this 0608 underscore compositing aovs in fusion exr file which is basically our render let's drag it to the fusion I have this package manager called Reactor installed. You can go to stakeunderwater.com, which is a Fusion community, and download and install Reactor. It comes with tons of great plugins and scripts and tools for Fusion. One of the scripts that it comes with is this uh, split EXR, which basically splits multi-channel EXR files to its individual channels or AOVs. In that YouTube video I mentioned, I showed you how to split your multi-channel EXR files manually. Uh, let's do it automatically. If I open up the reactor from the reactor menu and search for split EXR, I have already installed this split EXR. Uh, make sure to install it on your machine. Now I'm going to close the reactor. Now select the loader node that contains our EXR render and from the script menu run this split EXR script and press OK. And this will extract all the AOVs in that EXR file, which is fantastic. Now we have all the AOVs. It takes a few moments to sort out these AOVs and put them in order. I have already done that in this uh, first composition. So let me show you what we have. Now these blue nodes are the main AOVs. We have diffuse, uh, transmission, subsurface scattering, sheen, and specular AOVs. These orange nodes are the light groups. We have our fill HDRI light, fill above, uh, floor lamp, key left, and fill right.
These pink and purple nodes are the crypto mat nodes. I have kept six of them and deleted the rest. We have the crypto assets, crypto object, and crypto material AOVs, and also crypto asset 00, crypto object 00, and crypto material 00 nodes. We'll get back to this node later on, but for now, let's start a quick back to beauty composite using our main AOV nodes. So from the file menu, go to the preferences and under the frame format, change the color depth to 32 bit float and press save. Add a channel booleans node. Now set the diffuse as the background input and transmission as the foreground input. We can view the channel booleans node in one of the image viewers. Now set the operation to add and alpha to do nothing. Now when doing a back to beauty composite, the order of the AOVs doesn't matter. Right now we have added the transmission pass on top of the diffuse AOV. Let's copy the channel booleans node. Set the previous booleans node as the background and the SSS AOV as the foreground. As we just copied the booleans node, the operation is set to add, which is what we want. And uh, now we have added the SSS AOV. Now copy the booleans node again. Set the previous booleans node as the background input and the sheen AOV as the foreground. And do the same thing for the specular AOV as well. Now, if we take a look at the last node in the chain, you can see the beauty render is reconstructed and we just need to take care of the color spaces. As this is an ACES render, we uh, talked about that in the ACES video a few lessons back, if you remember. So in this case, we need to add an OCIO color space node and load the OCIO config file. Connect the last Boolean node to its input. The source space is ACES CG and the output space is ACES CC. Now copy the OCIO color space again and hook it up to the previous OCIO color space node. And in this one, we will go from ACES CC to output sRGB. Now it looks exactly like the IPR render in Arnold. If you are rendering in the built-in linear color space, you don't have to do this convergence. Check out that free YouTube video where I use a simple linear render and output an sRGB render, which is much simpler. Now, uh, this is our back to beauty composite and now we can do whatever we want. One of the first thing I want to do is to make those uh, leaves a bit more vibrant, more saturated. And uh, most of the leaves final look comes from the diffuse AOV. We can go ahead and specifically adjust that AOV or we can take the entire render after we went from ACES uh, CG to ACES CC and start color correction there. Let's take the latter approach. I'm going to add a color correction node. Hold down shift and insert it between the two OCIO color space nodes. Again, in the ACES video, a few lessons back, I covered why would I do that. I explained why we do it this way. Now, we can view the last node in the chain to see the final result. Let's increase the saturation to 1.25 and gain maybe to something like 1.05. Now the entire image looks more vibrant, more saturated, but we want to restrict this color correction to only the leaves. That's where the crypto mats will be very useful. Let me select this crypto material AOV and make a copy of it. And let's put it right under the color correction node. We can view the crypto AOV in the left view. Now we want to isolate the leaf specifically and use it as a mask for our color correction node. To do that, we need to have the CryptoMat plugin installed for Fusion. You can do that manually from the CryptoMat GitHub page.
You can find the instructions there, but Reactor also comes with that plugin as well. So let me open up the Reactor again. And search for CryptoMat. And here it is. Simply go ahead and click on this install button to get it working. Now let me close the Reactor window and add a crypto mat node after our crypto material AOV. And view the crypto mat node in the left view. We can hide this uh, underlay checker. Now we can move this indicator on top of the geometry that we want to make a mat out of. Uh, so in this case, let's move it on top of the leaves then click on this add button and then enable this mat only option. And now we have a simple white mat for our leaves. And now we can use this crypto mat node as our color correction mask input. There you have it. And now that color correction node only affects the leaves. Now let's say I want to change the color of this pot, for example. We can do it like the leaves or as uh, most of the pot shader look comes from the SSS AOV, we can do it on that level. First, let me isolate the uh, pot using another crypto node. I'm going to copy the crypto material node again. Add a crypto mat node after it. Move the indicator on top of the pot. And click on add. Enable matte only again. Now we can add a color correction node after the SSS AOV. And use the crypto matte node as the mask input for the color correction node. Now I can start adjusting the hue to change the color of the pot. Okay, I think it makes more sense to add the color correction after all the nodes like we did for the leaves, but just a different approach here. I'm going to disable this color correction node for now, as I think the original color looks just nice. And finally, let's add an overall color correction to the entire image. So add a new color correction and insert it before the last node. Increase the saturation to 1.1, gamma to 0.95, and gain to 1.07. And this is a very nice looking render. Now let's see how we can use our light group AOVs to relight our render. So let's focus on the light group AOVs. I'm gonna add a new channel booleans node. Set its operation to add and alpha to do nothing. Set the first light group as the background, the second one as the foreground. Now copy and paste the channel booleans node. Set the previous boolean node as the background and another light group as the foreground. Now do the same thing for the rest of the light groups and add them on top of one another. And now we can view the last node in the right view. We just need to do the ACES conversion again. So let me copy our ACES nodes from the previous setup and chain them up to the last Boolean node. Now 
let's say I want to turn off the floor lamp completely. So let's add a color correction node and insert it after the floor lamp light group. Now, if I turn the gain all the way down to zero, we can essentially turn that light off. Or I can increase the gain value and this way increase the brightness of that floor lamp. So as you can see, it's really cool. You can essentially turn off and on lights, uh, increase their brightness, even change the color. Now, this is a fairly warm light source. If you are planning to change the color of your lights in post, use neutral white color for your light sources in the 3D scene because you can change the white color to any other color by adding a color tint. I can, uh, again, still use this color correction node to tint the color of this warm light, but it won't be as easy to control. For now, set the tint to 1 and strength to 0 to get our original color back. I can do the same thing for all the other lights in the scene. Let's add a color correction node after the key left light. And we can use the gain to increase or decrease its brightness. and use the color tint to make it a warmer or a cooler light source. Uh, for fun, we can just set the gain to zero to completely turn off this light and get this kind of night light look. Okay, let's get back to our back to beauty composite and save it out. I'm going to view the last node in that chain, add a saver node, save it out in the renders folder in the 06 rendering section, name the file 0608 compositing AOVs infusion.png, and press save and use the last node as the input for the saver node. Just restrict the timeline to just one frame and then press the render. And then click on the start render button. And after a few seconds, we get this render completed message. And this is our render here. So in this video, we'll learn about compositing AOVs in Fusion. See you in the next video. Make sure to visit our website mographplus.com or our Gumroad page at gumroad.com slash mographplus and check out our premium CGI and rendering courses for Cinema 4D, 3DS Max, Maya, Arnold, Corona, V-Ray, Redshift, Octane, and so on. See you in the next video.